Today on the Point Blank Performance YouTube channel, we're in the repair shop and we've got a 2013 Ford 6.7 Power Stroke that just got towed in because of an entire fuel system failure. Now this truck did receive a previous install pertaining to a fast fuel system. We know there's metal in the system. We're gonna dive into that subject more, but did it have something to do with it failing? Truck is still equipped with the factory CP4 pump. We all know that those go out on the LML Duramaxes and the Ford Power Strokes. So guys, we're gonna jump underneath the hood, check out the fuel system, then we're gonna lift this dude up and see what's underneath it. Let's take a look. So guys, we've got the intake manifold off. We're gonna take a look at our CP4 pump. What is the job of this high pressure fuel pump? It is to create high pressure fuel. Once it creates a fuel pressure, it sends it over through an injector line over to a fuel rail. It keeps all that fuel pressure there, then sends it into the injector when it's towed on. It rushes into the injector, goes inside the cylinder, you're making power. Now let's jump back to the problem. We've got metal in our fuel system. How do we know? On top of the high pressure pump, you've got electronic solenoid called a BCV, volume control valve. Take that dude out. Guys, ours does not have a ton of metal in it, but it has metal in it. Anytime you look and you see those little shimmery, gleaming things of death, those are metal shavings and they have to be tended to, meaning this entire fuel system has to be replaced. So guys, we have clients reaching out to us and they want to know, can you just replace our high pressure fuel pump? It has some metal in it, but it's not that bad. We will not, and here's the reason why. If there's metal here, there's metal inside the injectors, it's in the rails, it's in the tank, it's in the entire fuel system. It's the reason why it's called an entire fuel system failure. We're replacing everything. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the truck, we're gonna get it in the air so you guys can check out a few red flags that can possibly speed up the failure of the CP4 pump. Let's check it out. So this truck already comes equipped with a fast fuel system on it. Taking a first glance, everything looks good, but because there is metal inside the fuel system, we do have to replace it. We are gonna move it. These big wheels and tires are prone to put a rock through this fuel filter housing. When they do, you're on the side of the road. We're gonna transfer it right back here behind the tank where it's safe and sound. We talked about those red flags, let's check them out. So first off, what used to be here is the factory fuel pump. What is here now is a bypass around it. Guys, there's nothing wrong with it. We're not gonna degrade it. We know FAST offers a kit to go around the factory fuel pump, but if this is an on the road truck, why would you? And this is why. The factory fuel pump actually has a filter inside of it. We want maximum filtration because if we got sediments in it, that could possibly knock out that CP4 pump, would have hopefully caught it right here. Number two thing, this is a water and fuel separator sensor. The factory fuel housing has it built inside of it. Guys, we may never know if this is good or bad fuel unless we send it off, but this would have told us right off the bat if we had water in it, we would have stopped immediately, or hopefully the customer would have stopped, and he could have saved that high pressure fuel pump. When we're doing our build, we're gonna put the factory fuel pump back on it, ensuring he's got maximum filtration to never let this happen again. So we pointed out a few red flags, nothing that the previous installers did had anything to do with the CP4 pump failing. With the mileage on the truck, we do see these trucks fail all the time. Now we're gonna perform our stage two low pressure, high pressure fuel system install. Let's check that out. So anytime you have a total fuel system failure, you wanna make for sure and replace every single component in it, right? Well, the first thing you wanna start with is a fuel tank. Brand new Ford OEM tank we just installed it. Now we're moving on to the fun stuff. We've got our PVP built CNC built aluminum fuel sump. Guys, it's outfitted with vibrant clamps. They're all dash eight, that's half inch to you guys. They're black, we wanna finish it off and make it look like an OEM installation. Now to top it off, cause we don't like leaks, we've got CV boot, clamps around it. They're all twisted to the top, that way just a clean, nice, polished look. Now, we've got two lines. We've got our push and we've got our return. We separate those by CNC billet vibrant black clamps. 
Now what's that feeding? A Fast 165. Let's check out that install. So we're back here behind the fuel tank. Now one thing I want to point out is we moved this fast system here and why? Because when they're mounted over here by the factory wheels and tires, we have seen these wheels and tires throw rocks into the filters. When they do, they explode. You've got fuel everywhere. So let's get into our install. We've got a Fast 165. It's an assist, meaning this. It assists the factory fuel pump. It operates from 10 to 12 PSI. You've got your suction line here. You've got your return line here. Super slick, clean install. Just two lines straight down the middle of the tank. They're all tucked up underneath there and you get maximum filtration. Two filters, easy access, spin them on, spin them off. Speaking of that low pressure fuel pump, it wasn't there before. We had to go in, rewire it, put it on. Let's check it out. So we got the factory fuel pump back installed on the truck. Here's my take on this. So this truck, say he's had water in it multiple times. Maybe it's a little, maybe it's a lot. He doesn't know, nor do I. But now we are gonna know why. We've got the factory water and fuel separator sensor plugged back up. And anytime he wants to drain it just to see what's in there, he can just untwist this and check out his fuel. The other benefit is this. There's another filter inside here. He's got two filters back there at the fast. He's got a third one. So it hits three filters before it even goes to the engine. Speaking of engine, we got another filter up there. Let's check out the finish install. So we've got our last fuel filter in its OEM location. This makes four fuel filters in the system. Diesel fuel goes through before it reaches the engine. We replaced all soft lines, hard lines, two rails, all eight injectors, all the return lines. And lastly, we replaced the CP4 pump with an upgraded Ford OEM version, the CP4.2, and we're gonna tell you why. So guys, I've got the CP4 pump that came off the truck. Now we upgraded to a CP4.2 pump. These pump, the CP4, came on 11 through 14s, the CP4.2 that's installed came on the 15 models. That's right, you can go to the Ford dealership, you can ask for a CP4.2, you can go to your truck and you can install it, it's a bolt-on. And the reason why we do that is this. One, it's a Ford OEM unit. Number two, it is a more tolerable unit to abuse, meaning if it gets water in the fuel system or contaminants. Number three, power. 15% over a CP4 pump. The CP4.2 can deliver 15% more. So if you guys are asking for a little bit more fuel, you got it. So if you guys want to see the CP4 pump on the table, explode it apart, taking a look in depth of it, we're going to make you a video. All you got to do is comment and let us know you want to see it. Now on this power stroke behind me, we covered the low pressure, the high pressure fuel system of when your CP4 pump fails. You get metal inside of it, what all has to be replaced. If we missed out any details, make for sure you let us know. We'll cover it on the next video. Guys, like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next week here at Point Blank Performance.